In this video, we'll try to solve an another important coding interview question that is printing patterns. This is one of the most asked coding interview questions for freshers. They'll ask with the different kinds of patterns, could be star patterns or could be number patterns. They just will test you whether you have the knowledge of nested for loops to solve these kind of problems. Let us understand what is the logic behind solving these pattern problems. You'll be given these kind of different star patterns or number patterns to solve. How do you basically solve? If you can look at this, first and foremost, you need to figure out how many number of lines that you need to print this. So you have to run an outer for loop to iterate from one to the less than or equal to number of lines. Then in each line, you have to figure out how many number of times that you need to print. In the first line, you're printing only once. In second line, you're printing it two times. In third line, you're printing three times. In fourth line, you're printing four times. So you need to run and another nested for loop to decide how many number of times you know to print this particular star or a number. Now let us write the code for this. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you are new to Training Mark, we are the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. Now, here I've taken a class called Print Patterns. So first, let me take the number of lines. So now here I'm taking lines is equal to four. So we'll try to print a very basic uh, star pattern. So now here I'm running a for loop saying that int i is equal to one, the outer for loop to decide how many number of lines I need to continue this loop. So i less than or equal to lines, i plus plus. So this will iterate to iterate the number of lines, right? So the second for loop, the nested for loop to decide how many number of times. So the, this I'm initializing j is equal to one. j less than or equal to i, j plus plus. So this will decide the count how many number of times that you need to print the star pattern. So now, now we should use system.out.pin not println. So now here I'm printing star and giving a space. And once this for loop, nested for loop completes, then I need to print an empty system.out.println and close this. So now let me run this to see how do we get the output. So this will print a basic pattern with four lines. So suppose if I give this for five lines, so then it will print. So when I give number lines five, so it will give me the five lines star pattern. So let us try to print an another star pattern. So now with the reverse of this, the mirror image of this. So in order to do this, what I need to do? So once we print this, now to print the mirror images, to print the mirror image of it, I'm taking in another for loop and initializing again int i is equal to, this time we are initializing it to lines then i greater than or equal to 1, then we need to decrement this, i minus minus, then for int j is equal to 1, now j less than or equal to i, again to print how many number of times, then we'll say j plus plus, then again we use s out to print star and give a space, and don't use print ln, just use print here, because we need to print within the same line, and then use an empty line after this uh, nested for loop ends. So when I run this, you are going to get this star pattern with a mirror image. Suppose you don't want this, right? So because you exactly need a mirror image, so then you can do lines minus one to run it to give the exact mirror image of it. So like that, you can try with the different combinations of patterns. All this can be solved by using nested for loops.